Robin Culver, thanks for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, the facility working to reduce the spread of disease from used needles. Renee Cooper joins us with an update on the Mandan Good Neighbor Project. Yes, Lauren, Custer Health began the project to provide clean injection supplies, but it's much more than a place to go for a clean needle. The program also provides education about reducing harm and helps refer their members to recovery resources when they're ready. I sat down with a former patient who started exchanging needles at Custer Health last fall. I had no intention at the, at the time of getting clean. Um, I was at the height of my addiction, thought I was unstoppable. He wanted to remain anonymous while sharing his story. Well, I had made the decision to start using needles a couple months earlier, and they're really hard to find. And had one scare where bought some and got back home and was going to use one, and there was old blood in, in it. Somebody was selling it as a new clean needle. In fact, 54% of people who have enrolled in Custer Health's program tested positive for hepatitis C when they came in. That's an afterthought. That doesn't matter at the time when you when you need the drug. The positive, according to the lead nurse with the program, anyone who tested negative when they first came in has stayed negative. Which is what we like to see and one of the main goals of the program. Four months ago, our anonymous patient decided to let go of methamphetamines. He wanted to be clean. And I burst out in tears that day and I just sat there with a couple of the nurses looking at different ways to make that happen. Within the first 12 months of the program, Custer Health surpassed their five-year goal of about 125 participants. They now have 209 enrolled members. They have that support system and have someone to walk them down that road as to how to get the ball rolling because a lot of them are scared and they don't have that support system. The patient who shared his story is not alone in his success. Here are some great statistics. Since enrolling in the program, 45% have decreased, decreased their drug injection use. 59% have stopped sharing used needles and injection supplies. And 238 doses of naloxone were distributed out of Custer Health to save lives. And as of August 1st, the program hours will be changed to better suit the community's needs. I have those on our website, kxnet.com. Lauren, I'll send it back to you. Renee Cooper reporting. Thanks so much. In continuing